Uh, my name is Bob Hall, and I'm from here in Taylorville, and I'm the chairman of the Chili Cook-Off. We've been doing this as our 20th anniversary, and myself and Don Marsangle and the late Bill Gasper started this event 20 years ago. My name is Jay Nicole, and I'm uh, president and owner of Ray's Brand Products, better known as Ray's Chili, out of Decatur, Illinois. Originated in Springfield, and this particular Chili Fest is unique for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a uh, they they do all this street festival sort of thing, which is pretty exciting. And as you can see, there are a lot of people here having a lot of fun. If they win these chili cookoffs, they go to the World Championship. So this is a big deal to them. We have people here from Louisiana. Uh, somebody from uh, Wisconsin. So there are people from all over that are trying to compete so that they can go cook in the World Championship and compete for that. If they make a good bowl of chili that somebody likes, that everybody likes, all the judges like, they pick that one bowl, it's worth $25,000. So today it's worth uh, not quite as much, but when they go out of the World Championship, $25,000 is pretty attractive. So that's what all these guys are trying to do. She comes up from St. Louis. They come from Farmersville, Petersburg. My niece is on the Chamber of Commerce here in Taylorville, and uh, Uncle Mike, she says, you got to come down here and cook chili at the Chili Fest, so I say, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Michigan. Uh, yeah, Michigan. Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana down there with their black and green shirt. And then the wife started cooking in, in 92, and I've been to the world twice, and she's been six times. So that tell you who got the best chili. I don't know. We like to cook off. We come here to have fun as well as compete. And uh, you yeah, meet a lot of people, you know, make, make friends. But the people, they, they love to, to get into the competition. They love the camaraderie. And if you can't have fun doing this. Uh, yes, we see people, not always the same people at a cook-off, different people at different cook-offs because you're in different locations but you always have the feeling you're running into friends, and that's what I love about, the, love about the whole thing. This whole area, this whole central Illinois area, area, we have an awful lot of cooks. We're only second to California in membership and participation in the World Championship. So we have some really very, very good cooks here in the, in the central part of the area. Everybody's passionate about the, their chili, uh, and that's what makes it a lot of fun because we are all able to get together and, and cook together. We are originally from, uh, in fact, we came up Thursday, we came from uh, Gonzales, Louisiana, which is close to New Orleans. <clears throat> My wife and I came up here to uh, cook in the contest, and we compete against one another. And we've, been, we've been doing this for quite a few years, and, and now that I'm retired, we're going to try to make as many of them as we can. Who has passed away now, Joe DeFratis, who started Chili Man Chili, is actually the only two-time world champion. So we have a lot of history with chili in Illinois. His, his famous, famous saying was, watch your pot. So we try and watch our pots. <laughs> We're not as good at it as he was, but we try. You get a good recipe, you, you pay attention to your pot, or as Joe said, you watch your pot. You got a job to do, you focus on what you're doing, it'll work out. And if you will, you guys kind of hang back here until we set the table. We're going to put a number on the outside, and we want you to vote for that number. Uh, when the judges go around judging Shelley, there's a certain criteria. There's actually six basic guidelines they go by. But when it comes down to it, they, they really like what tastes best. That's what they vote for. And they go around tasting the chilies, and... When they're done tasting all the chilies and scoring them, they pick their first, uh, second, and third chili, and then we tally those points up. No. No. What's unique about our chili is that we like ground beef here. Anywhere else in the country, it's chopped beef, little cubes of beef. Here in Illinois, we like, we like our bowl of red, as they call it. We like it to be towards brown. The only thing that they can use that's pre-cooked is uh, cans of tomato sauce or if they use broth or something like that, but uh, no pre-cooked chili. You should cleanse your palate between each taste because you don't want a chili to linger over to the next taste. You want to get rid of that taste so you can taste it fresh. And so we recommend that they 
Uh, we have uh, green grapes, which is a good palate cleanser, and we also have, which works very well, is uh, tortilla and sour cream. And a little taste of that will get rid of some of that aftertaste you've had. Of course, we all know that sorbet is the best thing for cleansing your palate, but that'd be kind of hard to do at a chili cook-off. Most people, most people uh, believe that chili was originated in the uh, late 1700s, early 1800s. It was uh, uh, Spanish women who made this dish for cattle drive folks. And what it was basically was, was grease with chili peppers. Back then, uh, a lot of people didn't have a lot of money, so they couldn't buy a lot of meat. And uh, of course, we didn't have refrigerators back then. So they would use the fat or the, the rendering and, and mix it with uh, chili powders. And, and that's kind of how chili started in the South and, and kind of moved its way up. People are always asking, the crowd's always asking, well, now, you don't eat chili when you're at home, do you? Well, we do. We like chili, we always have. He started making the chili, he uh, was very good at it. We were coming home from a cook-off one day and I looked at him and said, you know, there's just something about your chili I don't like. And he looked at me and he said, then cook your own. <laughs> we give each other a hard time, the competition's keen, but uh, we'll have our 51st anniversary in December, so I think we're doing all right. I told you, that's the champion over there. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but he is. It's kind of a saying in the chili circuit that a person that doesn't like, does not like chili cannot be trusted. As most of us did, you know, we grew up eating chili and we all love it. And it's just a, it's just a very good food. There's really, you know, everyone thinks he makes the best chili or his mom or his grandmother. And that's how all these com uh, competitors got started. Because they think either their mother or their grandmother or whoever made better chili. And they taste some of these competition chilies and say, well, I can do that good and they get in and get started. And our first place winner wins $500 and a certificate. It is cup number one, team number 104, Gene Simmons from Florissant, Missouri. Gene's going to the World Championship next year. $500 and a certificate, and the right to go to the World Championship for the International Chili Society next year. Gene Simmons from Florissant, Missouri. Give her another hand, ladies and gentlemen.